Hey YouTube, time for a shrimp update. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian and I'm coming at you with a shrimp update for September of 2017. Um, just thought I would take you through all the tanks and show you what I've got going on. First we're looking at the mixed Taiwan B tank. You can see um, several different types in here. Got some really nice looking blue bolts, some pandas, shadow pandas, red bolts, and there may be a few straggler um, wine reds in here but I've moved most of those out into another tank. They're all doing really good. Um, some of these bolts, blue bolts, I'll probably move into my blue bolt tank, which we'll show you. It's upstairs in my office. I'll show you that later in the video. But yeah, that's what's going on there. We'll move up over here to the super crystal red tank. Um, this tank is doing okay. Um, Still, I mean, I've had babies. You can see some babies growing out here, but the overall colony hasn't grown like I had hoped. I'm gonna continue to keep trying. Um, but, you know, not all the babies survived, and some of the adults have also passed away. Excuse me, I just hit something with my foot. That's okay. Um, but yeah, you know, there's about 15 of them in here total. There's adults, there's babies. Um, thought that I saw a buried female yesterday. I don't think this is the one. No. But anyway. Um, so yeah, that's the situation. There's a couple smaller ones on top of those sponge filters up there. Uh, over here, we've got the PRL tank. Um, they're all back eating some food back there right now. I when I do these videos, I try to put a pellet in up towards the front at the beginning so that the shrimp can kind of come out and we can see them better, but sometimes they'll move the pellet, like in this case. But these guys are doing good too. Let's try to zoom in a little bit. A bunch of them in there, you can't really see them. A lot of them are behind that mini pellia. I can spare some of these if people are looking for PRLs. My email will be below in the description if you're looking. Uh, right here are one uh, of the CRS tanks. These are kind of higher grade CRS. I'd, I'd say SS to SSS. Um, they're doing good. A lot of breeding lately and a lot of um, juvies that have grown out uh, really nicely um, so I'm happy about that I could probably spare a few of these too I shouldn't say a few I always sell in groups of 10 but I could spare some of these if people are looking um, to buy uh, again my email address will be below and you can uh, contact me there <clears throat> uh, moving on is the black pinto tank I've got as far as I can tell, all the Thai bees out. I'm not quite sure. Oh, I know. Um, I had um, a couple of uh, Michelin Thai bees in here at one point. And that's what these whiter looking ones have come from. And um, but uh, the black Thai bees are doing good. Did I see Thai bees? I meant Pintos. This is the Pinto tank, and I did remove some Thai bees out of here. I just saw one more Thai bee back by the uh, moss way back there that I'll have to scoop out. But I'll show you the Thai bee tank in a little bit. These are the black Pintos. Those whiter ones I was talking about a minute ago were Pinto Michelings, or came from Pinto Michelings. You can see that there's they've kind of had their own babies now and have turned out Michelin-ish, if you will. But they're doing good. Um, Here's some babies that have grown out to be juvies here. Um, I don't know if you can see, but there's some babies right over in this area here. There's one. It's always hard to zoom in on them. But things are going decent in this tank. Uh, not as good as I had hoped by now, but yet um, 
definitely there's breeding going on and things are going good. The old standby CRS tank, these are the lower grade, but um, still one of my favorite looking CRS. I don't know why, I just like the coloration combo on here with the red and white. Um, these guys are, I've always got these for sale if anyone's looking, but uh, they're doing really well. Um, some of the moss in this tank has really taken off and is starting to really overgrow, but I've got some fissidens and some mini Christmas moss things like that in there so that's those tanks and we'll move over to the other side of the room here and we'll just start at the top over here with the blue dreams uh, one of only three neo tanks that I've got left they're not doing too bad I could probably spare some of these if people are looking um, to buy let me know um, red pinto tank this is what I'm this has been my favorite tank lately. These guys are just doing really good, and I'm really digging them. Not ready to start getting rid of any of these yet. I really want to grow this colony out. But there are babies in here. Um, there's a small one right there. Um, yeah, really, really digging the, these guys. Um, I'm about to get down low here. This is my white Caradina tank. I don't know if you could call these Snow Whites or... Oh, wow, there's a Ty B in there. I'm going to have to scoop him out. You could call these Snow Whites. Uh, there's, there's lineage in here that are from... CRS that came out with no no striping Red bolts that came out white Golden bees So it's kind of a little hodgepodge of everything just kind of my little project and I I don't know why but I really like the white shrimp for some reason not a lot of people do But they're they're cool to me Down below here is the Thai B tank hard to see them. There's not real great light in this tank. I still have um, a couple of tigers, like a tangerine tiger in here. And I think uh, somewhere there is uh, an aura blue tiger. But there were some bear. These guys are really kind of swimming around or doing the dance, if you will. Boy, this camera just won't. Lighting's really bad. This is this tank is down on the floor, and then the camera for some reason isn't wanting to focus real well. But there's a bunch of them in here. I'll move over. Um, this is a crystal black tank, and they move the food behind this piece of chala wood, choya wood. But there's a good 50 plus in here, and they're doing good too. Look at this piece of mini pelia. It's attached to that rock. Uh, it's a big piece of dragon stone, actually. Pretty sweet. Let's see if we can see some more of them. Yeah, not really gonna see many of them. This is the mixed cherry tank. I got low grades, high grades. Uh, I don't know if you want to say that there are some sakuras, some fire reds, some painted fire reds, uh, and some low grade cherries. Kind of the whole gamut. I've got a tank that I'm going to start putting cherry culls in so that I can concentrate more on higher grades in this tank. Sorry for the focusing there. There's a little bit of algae on the front of the tank and the camera wants to uh, focus on that. Royal Blue Tigers. Uh, the story just continues to get worse. Um, I've had die off. I've had no breeding. Things just aren't doing good. I'm going to completely redo this tank and start over and see if that kick starts things. But, uh, I mean, there's still, there's some, there's adults in here and they're, they're looking good. But I'm finding one or two dying per week lately, which sucks. But hopefully we can rebuild, as they say. And then up here is the other red tank. These are... 
all exclusively from the line that used to be called Savage Red from a few years ago. Um, I'm working on calling out um, everything that's not super red in here and hopefully getting this line to completely uh, blow up on me here. That would be really cool. So, but that's what's going on in that tank. And we'll take you upstairs quick and show you the, uh, the two in my office. All right, so we're up in the office here and this is the wine red tank. These are doing good. I haven't seen any breeding going on yet, but they were just moved here within the last month or two. And uh, I expect some good things to come soon, but for right now, you know, there's a colony of 10 to 15 in here and that's kind of about it. But uh, they're doing decent as they've acclimated to their new home. And then over here is the blue ball tank. Been some, some good breeding going on here. Babies of a few different sizes from a few different uh, parents. Um, doing real good. Just really looking forward to seeing this uh, colony really explode. Here's something cool too. Someone asked me about this, but uh, it's just some... Uh... Oh, I'm blanking out on the name. Of washer tank <laughs> that happened to start growing in a little patch on the side of the tank over a year ago and I'm just kind of letting it continue to grow and it'll hopefully turn into a whole sub washer tank mall, mall wall that'll look really cool but yeah that's really about it for now guys um, try to get a few close-ups here but yeah um, I appreciate everybody that does watch these videos and those that subscribe. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe so you can see all my regular updates on my shrimp tanks, on my freshwater fish tanks, and my saltwater fish tanks. Um, if any of you keep fish in addition to shrimp and are looking to try some new fish food, I do sell Southern Delight fish food now in bulk. And there's several different formulas, one that'll fit any type of fish from you know, cichlids to smaller schooling freshwater fish, tetras, any type of freshwater fish and any type of saltwater fish for that matter. And heck, there's even stuff that you could try for shrimp if you wanted to. But if you're interested uh, in any of that, go to my um, Facebook page for my company, Aquatic Support Systems, or email me at the email address below. And again, thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.